so I have had kind of a crazy morning, but I'm currently in San Juan, Puerto Rico. I'm super, super excited. I just pulled over at a school to kind of figure out where I'm going and just vlog. But yeah, this morning has been kind of crazy. I broke a nail on the way to the airport. I just did them yesterday. Originally, this was a solo trip. Then someone was supposed to come with me. That person bailed, so it is now again a solo trip. It's been a very eventful morning. I've not eaten anything like all day, so I'm gonna find where my Airbnb is and find some food and super excited to be here. Okay, since we're in Puerto Rico, it's only right to kick it off with my favorite, favorite artist. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that was hands down the most stressful driving experience I've ever had. It took me over an hour. I was getting lost. The GPS was rerouting. There was potholes. The driving here is crazy, but finally got to my Airbnb after going in circles for over an hour. Let me show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so I just got a studio. So here's the entrance. Um, there's a gate outside that locks and then this door has a lock there and also this deadbolt which makes me feel secure. There's a little kitchen. There's a stove, microwave, coffee machine. Ooh, oh my gosh, there's some food. It's like um, 4.20 this time, so 3.20 back home, and I haven't really eaten since like 6 in the morning, so I'm really hungry. So there's the kitchen. Um, let's look at the bathroom. So over here, there's a little mirror. I look terrible from traveling. I think this is a closet. Okay, so a closet with some toilet papers ooh sunscreen because i think i need more um let's see if this side opens oh it's just like cleaning stuff and is this another closet okay so like a hamper um an ironing board let's look over here oh i guess that side doesn't open and this should be the bathroom. It's really small and cute. And the shower. Oh, there's no tub. So it's just a shower, which the shower head looks interesting. And then let's go look out to the main area. Oh, and there's a fridge, which is nice. There is a fridge. And this is like the main like bedroom living area. So again, it's a studio, really big TV. Um, it feels really hot in here, so I don't think the AC is on, but there is AC. There's a fan. The bed is really nice. And then there's a little couch area. I think that's a pull-out couch, but I'm not using that. And I'm on the 11th floor. There's a little patio area, and there is the beach. Beach view. I can walk to the beach. I want to go to the beach so bad, but I'm starving. So this is an Airbnb. I'll leave it linked down below. Um, for me, it was a little bit more affordable than a hotel, just because it's spring break and things are expensive. But yeah, there were lots of shops, like that way, I want to say, uh, fast food shops, restaurants, and then beaches over there. So I feel like I'm in a pretty good location. Okay, so I threw on just this little tank top and some shorts, got on my jandals. Also, I did press on toenails, and the look, they suck on, they look good. I have two hours of sunlight left so i'm gonna take my camera with me i'm gonna take a couple of things in my purse and go explore
so I was just sitting outside and I just realized that today is the last day that I'm going to be 25. It sounds so weird that I'm turning 26 tomorrow, but I got all ready and it's only like 8 o'clock. I have my earrings that my sister let me borrow. I did a little bit of makeup even though I'm probably going to sweat it out. And I'm going to find a breakfast spot and then go explore San Juan and Old San Juan today also. I will not get over this view from my Airbnb. So peaceful. to go up into the castle and then go down so I'm gonna start heading that way and walk in but this place is so cool and I just barely am getting started so I'm gonna walk this way and just follow where everyone else is going. Guys look at the sky oh my gosh it's so Okay, I've been out all day, mostly vlogging on my phone because this camera started acting funny, but it looks like it's working now. Um, my feet are killing me, so these sandals from Target are super cute, but not meant for walking, and I did not realize I would be walking for hours all over Old San Juan, but I really enjoyed it. I'm really hot and sweaty, so I'm going to quickly change and go spend um, the next couple of hours until the sun goes down at the beach, but look also, can we have a moment for the earrings? Um, I had a really good day so far and it's only like 3, 3 or 4 o'clock so I'm going to go ahead and head to the beach because it's really, really hot. Oh, also a quick Walmart haul. Um, I got this beach hat. It's not super big but I need something to shade myself. Got some wine. I might bring to the beach today, maybe tomorrow. And then I got a couple more snacks. So some breakfast bars, almonds some power aids and then more waters that I'm gonna throw into the fridge um, but yeah 
let me get ready for the beach. Okay, I need to get a new camera. It's still not working, so I'm just going to vlog on my phone. Uh, swimsuit and cover-up are Shein, and I have a little beach bag packed. I just brought this tote in my carry-on, and I threw, like, my towel, some snackies, Polaroid, book, hat, sunscreen. Gotta have the summer Fridays, lip butter balm, and we are headed to the beach. Guys, look how crazy I look after being out in the sun all day and at the beach. My, <laughs> I'm about to take a shower and wash my hair and then probably figure out what to eat for dinner. But yeah, I look really, really crazy right now. Not me being in Puerto Rico and getting Taco Bell for dinner. I'm just tired and want to go to sleep. <laughs> I woke up to come watch the sunrise. I did this last year on the morning of my birthday in Miami, so I'm officially 26 years old. Um, it's kind of sprinkling out here and cloudy, so I don't know if I'm even gonna see a good sunrise, but I'm gonna listen to a podcast and some music and then walk a couple of miles. Let me take my shoes off and then go get breakfast after, but it's so peaceful out here. I think there's some people who are just getting in from the clubs, but let me show you. Also a full moon. I'm about to get poured on. This is the way that I'm walking. I'm gonna turn around soon. This is the way. <laughs> I have to go back. It's supposed to rain for a couple of hours. Okay, so after breakfast, I just walked to this place up the street. I've just been back here laying in bed on TikTok, kind of just chilling. I feel like when I'm on vacation, I always try to go, go, go. And it's okay to just relax sometimes because I don't want to be tired um, throughout the day. So I'm going to leave in the next hour or so. I'm going to Casa Bacardi, which is where they make Bacardi. Rum is so, so huge here. So of course I have to go check it out. I'm doing a mixology drink class. After that, when I come back, I might go back to the beach for a couple of hours. I want to jet ski and then I have dinner reservations at seven tonight. Um, hopefully I have time to go to the beach, but yeah, that's what I'm doing today on my birthday, but right now I'm just kind of relaxing. I also might change into a dress. I'm wearing, um, jeans right now in this top. I think I might change, but yeah, I also need to secure my tickets tomorrow to go to El Yunque, a national rainforest park. I tried at 8 a.m. and as soon as I got on, they were all gone, so they're doing another round of tickets at 11. Um, worst case scenario, if I can't get a ticket, there are some hiking trails that you don't need one to, but the main park, you have to have a reservation, so hopefully um, it's almost 11. I can get a ticket but I'll let you guys know yeah okay my camera's 
super crooked. It's 11 o'clock. I waited till on the dot and I got my ticket. So tomorrow I get to go to El Yunque and do some hiking. I'm so, so excited. I am about to head to Casa Bacardi in a second. I changed. I need to fix my dress. But I decided to dress a little bit more cute. I'm still going to wear my sneakers because, y'all, my feet are tore up with blisters from those sandals yesterday. Um, I don't think I'm going to wear my hair up. I'm stretching my hair out. I did a little bit of makeup, but honestly, I'm going to sweat it out and got a little earring. But, yeah, I'm so excited. So, today's going to be a fun day. Then I get to hike tomorrow. girls or uh, these two women that are from Florida I got their number so I'm probably gonna hang out with them tonight I'm so so happy that I did this I almost didn't do it because I was scared to go alone but honestly I had the absolute best time ever I'm gonna head back and try to go to the beach for a little bit before my dinner reservations tonight but so far I honestly am having the best birthday ever I could cry it makes me so so happy but such a great day Okay, headed to the beach. Swimsuit is Shein, but I had to change the bottoms out because swimsuit bottoms don't be covering nothing. And the hat is the one I got from Walmart. I'm going to go to the beach for a few hours. And I'm going to bring my wine. So vlogging again from my phone. Sorry that my camera sucks, but I'm at El Yunque Rainforest Park. Um, I got here at like noon and it closes at five. So we're just gonna explore for a couple of hours. Um, it's so beautiful out here. It's actually really cool. It's like 70 degrees. And right now I'm walking to, I think a trail that has a rainfall.
Okay, I haven't really been vlogging a whole lot today. I just got back from El Yunque National Rainforest. Um, I need to take a shower because my feet are super muddy. These blisters have been just really, really killing the vibe. I'm really tired. I wanted to take a nap, but why am I going to take a nap when I'm in Puerto Rico? So instead, I'm going to quickly just kind of rinse off. Actually, I might just go to the beach and take a nap at the beach because I'm in Puerto Rico. So let me get my beach stuff together and head down. I got an empanadilla and a pina colada. Got some ice cream that was right across the street and walking with the wrong way. Back to the condo. Okay, so I just woke up. Today's my last day here. My problem is, is that I have to check out of this Airbnb at 11 a.m. My flight was supposed to be at 4 p.m., but it just got delayed until 5. So I have to check out at 11, and then I have like a couple of hours that I need to go do something. Luckily, I rented a car, so I'm not going to have to like roll my luggage around. Um, let me see what I want to do today. I wanted to go to this art museum. It's actually closed. I know I saw a mall and probably might just go shopping, but I need to finish packing. Um, it's only 8 a.m., so I have a couple of hours till I have to be out. And, okay, so I started packing last night. Um, I need to figure out what I'm wearing today. I might actually change outfits before I get on the plane because I'm not going to get home until midnight and I kind of don't want to be sitting in the same outfit all day after shopping and then going on two different flights so I'm gonna finish packing I'm gonna clean up a little bit and like make the bed I don't like leaving places a mess um, and then pack my backpack too and I'll figure out where to eat breakfast Okay, just got all my things in the car and I checked out the Airbnb. It's really hot outside. When I was leaving, I had the most pure interaction ever with um, one of the apartment cleaning people was walking by and I think he assumed I spoke Spanish so he started speaking to me in Spanish and then I spoke in English. He said he didn't speak English. I told him I didn't speak Spanish but I was trying to communicate in Spanish and he was trying to communicate in English. Just such a pure interaction. Um, I need to get gas and I honestly don't know how much gas here is because all the gas stations have said like a dollar but I feel like it's not per gallon I think it's per liter but let's go find out because I do have to fill up my rental before I return it. send one gonna see what they have here to kill in the next hour or two Ooh, Tiffany and Co Jimmy Choo this might be a bougie mall so the sign outside the mall said to wear a mask but there's some people that are some people that are not it's kind of confusing because San Juan seems like, I don't know if there's still a mask protocol, but it seems like it's starting to get lifted. Or maybe people just don't care, but I'm just going to wear mine just to be respectful. I've never shopped at Zara before. I think I might get some jeans. They're high-waisted, but super long, so you can wear them with heels. 